pyruvic acid. Uh, administered to the filter paper, uh, one drop of pyruvic acid about 15 minutes ago. We can see the uh, single insect in there is showing some ac uh, activity, the uh, antenna, antennae are sweeping. Definitely showing activity. Look at this. Look at this. Definite sweeping, definite activity. Absolutely. Now I put about four or five chemicals in there where the insect was completely indifferent. Oh boy. Tremendous. Right dead center. Look at that. There's only one other chemical. Wow. There's only one other chemical so far I've tested, hydroquinone, where there was a level of interest and the insect came out. But with the pyruvic acid, oh my gosh. Now, Um, Journal of Chemical Ecology, 1981, page 853, Nishino and Takayanaji uh, described uh, the general behavior uh, elicited by the American cockroach with a pheromone mimic. And uh, it was... Um, an analog, a mimic of uh, the female produced sex pheromone. And the males came out. They showed interest in the vapor from the sample by waving their antennae. Movement gradually became rapid in their shelters, and then a few individuals rushed out. Upon arrival at the source, they extended their abdomens and raised and vibrated the wings. And in some cases, the, these sexual displays were observed before they reached the sample. So uh, the excitement of a few was immediately propagated to the others. Well, I don't know yet whether this is a male or a female. I didn't examine the, uh, uh, the abdomen. But I didn't see action with the wings. This, this was simply, a, if I had to guess, it was uh, just a chemical attractant. And uh, apparently the American cockroach is very fond of fermenting uh, materials or odors of uh, reminiscent of fermentation. So pyruvic acid, of course, is uh, uh, in some life forms the, uh, the uh, product of uh, humans, uh, the product of uh, uh, glycolytic pathway. But definitely, definitely, there was a strong interest there. With, uh, as I said, a number of other chemicals that I've put there, there was uh, no interest whatsoever. So we caught that. We were lucky. Uh, I was just here at the desk at the time.